Hi, I'm Fake TV's Mike Perlman. Today I'm reviewing the Pentax K01. And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm wearing a bolo tie. Stay tuned to find out if the Pentax K01 is the K01 for you. The Pentax K01 is an odd duck. It was designed by Mark Newson. He's designed a lot of contemporary things like watches and boats, but this is his first stab at a digital camera. I have to say, it looks like it was designed by an IKEA in Whoville, but don't be fooled by this camera's funky appearance. This is actually a very serious mirrorless machine. The Pentax K01 sports an all-aluminum body design, including dials and controls. And that's a very rare thing in this plastic-dominated market. A great thing about this camera is that it has in-body built-in sensor shift image stabilization that worked so well. It was one of the best performing image stabilization systems I've seen in such a long time. Also, Mr. Newson designed the 40mm Pentax DA f2.8 lens. It is currently the world's thinnest interchangeable lens, measuring at just under half an inch. This lens has autofocus, and I love seeing the 9-blade aperture open and close based on the automatic exposure. One of the downsides to the Pentax K01 is that it lacks a viewfinder. It does, however, have a nice 3-inch 921,000 pixel LCD, and you could also get an optical rangefinder from Pentax. We have a hot shoe for an external flash, but there's also a gnarly little pop-up flash made out of metal. It actually provided a very impressive fill. The camera also has a mic jack, which is huge for advanced video makers, and there's a large DSLR-sized battery that gave me awesome life throughout the entire day. So the lesson to be learned, don't let this odd duck's appearance fool you. It is a highly capable, well-built, solid hunk of aluminum. So then I thought with a camera that has an eccentric design like the K01, it probably doesn't have a lot of big features on the inside. I was wrong again. This camera actually has focus and exposure peaking. Those are two things that you will rarely ever find in the DSLR market or the mirrorless camera market. The way it worked was anything that was focused properly would be highlighted, and with exposure peaking, anything that was underexposed would be red, anything overexposed would be yellow. Now, unfortunately, they couldn't be used while recording videos, but in still mode, they were invaluable tools, especially paired with manual focus. Now, the other great thing about this camera is that you could shoot PASM. So we have full manual control. Shutter speed of 30 seconds all the way up to 1 1 4 thousandths of a second. We have an ISO range of 100 to 12,800, expandable to 25,600. I also love the fact that I could stop this f2.8 lens all the way down to an f22. There's an excellent white balance suite with several presets and a manual. We also have a color grid for selecting the right temperature. Now, a Pentax wouldn't be a Pentax without a treasure trove of digital filters. There are lots of fun digital effects that you could shoot with. However, I recommend this. Shoot in RAW plus JPEG and this camera has even more digital filters available in playback. Then the Pentax K01 had an HDR mode. This is something that I've seen on Pentaxes in the past. The HDR mode was pretty effective, but you're going to need to shoot static subjects and you're going to need to put the camera on a tripod because it takes three shots at different exposures and then blends the image together. Now the cool thing about video mode is that I could shoot in program, aperture, and manual mode in video mode, so I had pretty much full image adjustment capabilities. And the Pentax K01 had an excellent auto mode, we had face detection, all of the good stuff. This had a uh, fast burst rate as well, and we had several scene modes. So the Pentax K01, just as capable as any mid-tier DSLR, more capable than most mirrorless cameras. And finally, it's the moment we've all been waiting for, the Pentax K01's image quality. This camera is equipped with a 16 megapixel APS-C size CMOS sensor. It's the same sensor you find in the Pentax K30, the company's weather-sealed mid-tier DSLR. The Pentax K01, like many Pentax DSLRs I've tested in the past, exhibited beautiful image quality with lifelike clarity, wonderful tones. I was super impressed with the Pentax K01. To benchmark its performance, I shot side by side with the Olympus OMD EM5. I preferred the Pentax. One thing to note about the images though, JPEG versus RAW quality, there was a huge difference. The RAW colors were way more accurate than the JPEG counterparts. So if you value the highest image quality, definitely shoot in RAW with the Pentax K01. 
Now video mode was a different story. This camera can capture 1080p video at 30, 25, and 24 frames per second. That's pretty nice, especially since we have a full manual mode. We have a mic jack for better audio quality. However, I discovered a few things with the video mode. First of all, the quality was hit or miss. The quality was great with static shots in ample lighting and manual focus. However, when I turned this camera's attention to very busy things like I shot in a big lupine field and I shot downtown, I discovered things like compression artifacts and moiré patterns and, and contrasted lines. So in complex environments with limited light, you're going to have problems with the K01. That's not to say this camera isn't capable of beautiful HD video quality, which it is. You just really have to work for it. And now it's time for the Buffalo Call with the Pentax K01. If I was in the market for a mirrorless camera and I wanted to dare to be different, the Pentax K01 would be the K01 for me. I really love this camera and I cannot stress how underrated Pentax cameras are. They really deserve a lot more attention. Their image quality is fantastic, their features are amazing, and this is a high quality built camera. I know it looks different, but this camera is definitely worth it. For the full review, go to technobuffalo.com. Until next time, I'm going to go play some Game Boy. I lost my phone number. Can I have yours? Get lost. Tough crowd. <laughs>